Good Sunday morning, everybody. This is Steve Monday, Chief Forecaster for Rowan County Weather. Let's go ahead and take a look at what's going on weather-wise around the area this morning. 44 degrees to start the day off at the Weather Center, 45 degrees at the Mid-Carolina Airport in Salisbury, 36 degrees up in Boone, 32 degrees over toward Hickory. So certainly some very uh, cool temperatures to start the day off. Chilly temperatures in some areas, and you can see out toward our uh, East, we've got 50 degrees, especially out toward the coast, 52 degrees down there as well. Uh, we'll continue to see temperatures warm up today. We'll get into the 60s and we'll see a gradual warm up as we go through the upcoming week where we will warm up into the low to mid 70s by the middle of the week. But it'll be short lived as colder temperatures will start to make their way back into the area. And by next weekend, we're going to have highs back in the 50s. So it'll certainly be a short lived period of warm weather as we move through the week this week. Taking a look at where some rain is around the uh, country right now, over toward the coast there in uh, South Carolina around Charleston getting some rain out along the Outer Banks as well of North Carolina getting some rain. Not a whole lot going on there. A few rumbles of thunder and some lightning, but most of those are off the uh, coast and into, into the Atlantic. Also out toward the Pacific Northwest, an area we're keeping an eye on. You can see we've got some uh, rain and snow mixing in along the Pacific Northwest, and we'll see rain showers continue and snow showers continue to develop there. And we're watching this front because it moves through the country. This is the front will, that will bring us to cooler temperatures by next weekend. It's not going to move very quickly, but as it does move through and make its way into our area, We'll see some colder temperatures move back in. Again, we'll have highs in the 50s by next Saturday. So again, colder conditions will move in. Also, some rain will move in with this front as it gets closer to us. We'll see a 40% chance of rain on Friday evening. Something to keep in mind as the state championship football playoffs continue for the high school football teams around the county that have advanced. And we'll continue to keep you updated on that. Let's go ahead and take a look now at the weather impacts and what we can expect as we move through the day today. And weather impacts are sponsored by Patterson Farms. They've got the fall fun on the farm going on right now. Uh, for more information on what's happening out there, visit pattersonfarm.com. We'll see mostly cloudy skies to start the day today. Gradual clearing as we move through the day. Winds will be out of the north at around 10 to 15 miles an hour with gusts as high as 25 miles an hour. And we'll see clear and cold conditions this evening. If you're heading out to the Panthers versus the Patriots game today, <laughs> certainly a very fall-like feel to the air out at this game today. We'll see partly sunny skies as we move through the game. If you're heading out to tailgate, temperature is going to be in the upper 50s to around 58 degrees. Kickoff looking at around 59 degrees. By halftime, we'll warm up to around 61 degrees. And then by the end of the game, 60 degrees. The big story weather-wise for this game will be the winds. The winds are going to be gusting, as I said, up to around 25 miles an hour. And they'll be sustained at around 10 to 15 miles an hour. So something to, to consider as you're out there at the game, you may want to take a jacket with you. Uh, keep yourself warm, maybe a stadium blanket, something like that. And then as the game progresses, the shade will start to work its way across the stadium. So around half of the stadium will become shaded. And that's going to be a much colder feel to the air with that shade, all that concrete, the wind blowing. So certainly something to keep in mind as well, as you might start off feeling a little warm with the sun hitting you. But by the end of the game, those conditions may change for you, depending on where you're sitting at the stadium today. The five-day forecast sponsored by SA Sloop Heating and Cooling, built on integrity. Give them a call, 704-857-5684. Visit them on their website, www.sasloop.com. Mention you notice they sponsor the forecast on Rowan County weather. They'll give you $25 off your first-time service call. Today, we'll see partly sunny skies, high of 61. Clear skies by this evening with a low of 34. On Monday, we'll see sunny skies with a high of 70. Clear skies Monday evening, low of 37. On Tuesday, that's likely going to be our warmest day of the week. We'll see sunny skies, high of 74. Partly cloudy skies Tuesday evening with a low of 40. On Wednesday, we start to cool back down a little bit with partly sunny skies, high of 72. We'll see partly cloudy skies Wednesday evening with a low of 42. Then on Thursday, we drop back into the 60s with partly sunny skies, high of 68. 40% chance of rain as we move through the evening hours on Thursday with a low of 50. So we'll continue to keep you updated on that. 
If you're looking for ways to stay updated with Rowan County weather at any time, you can visit us on our website, www.rowancountyweather.com. You can follow and like us on our social media pages, Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And you can check us out on cable television, WSRG TV in Salisbury. It's available on Hotwire Channel 394, Spectrum Channel 16. We'll keep you updated there as well. For now, enjoy your Sunday. And as always, thank you for following Rowan County weather.